Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. Winter whiteout conditions are wreaking havoc on area roads. The slick streets caused multiple accidents throughout the day today. Emergency crews are asking drivers to slow down and drive according to the conditions. Watch for the drifting snow. Uh, snow plows are out. Stay back from them. Make sure you're not running into any snow drifts. Uh, it is bad out here. Emergency crews continue to have their hands full. Many cars landed in the ditch like this one here on Highway 16. This car was rear-ended by a pickup truck at around 12:30 this afternoon. Officials are asking drivers to leave lots of space between yourself and the vehicle in front of you to prevent crashes like this one. Traffic was backed up in numerous areas around the city while crews tried to clean up crashes. Luckily, there are no reports of serious injuries at this time. A bit of a scary scene at the RSC equipment rental office today. A welding truck lost control plowing into the front of the building just after 3 p.m. Police aren't confirming what caused the crash, but luckily no one was injured. There's no estimate on how much damage the building sustained and RSC is still open for business. It's been nearly two months since a minivan crashed through the wall of a middle school in St. Paul. As local residents still try to grasp what happened that day, the support for family involved continues to pour in. We are having some technical difficulties, so we will definitely bring you that story later on in our cast. Well, it's definitely beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but the local food bank is still putting the finishing touches on its holiday hampers to ensure every family has a feast. And one of the biggest donations rolled in earlier today, courtesy of the Realtors Association for Lloydminster and District. Dashing through the snow in, well, not quite a one horse open sleigh, but even in a blowing blizzard, this special delivery still arrives straight away. The sound of Christmas cheer, a bit different than you'd expect, but these cardboard packaged parcels ensure all of the best. We've gotten pretty quick at this over 25 years, I guess. We've got it down to a system. We bring the trucks to the back of the Salvation Army, and within five minutes, we're all unloaded. So we've provided um, Christmas dinner for 125 families. And what, you may ask, is this annual Christmas surprise? A bit of a different dressed bird may meet your eyes. Not 20, not 50, but 125 frozen feasts of all shapes and size. The Salvation Army just has the privilege of being able to provide Christmas for families that aren't going to be able to otherwise afford it. So having the turkeys come in and having all the donations come in just to be able to do that is wonderful. And with old man winter blowing with all his might. There is a ton of snow and a lot of wind out there. It's not nice, so we definitely appreciate the amount of people that came to help bring them in. This gift helps give a Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. We all find it very worthwhile and very rewarding to be able to do something like this for our community. The families knowing that they're going to have Christmas Day no matter what happens in their world. Is, there's been some teary moments. It's been awesome. The Kiwanis Club's Children's Christmas Program is all about delivering smiles. It's a tradition that started back in the early 1980s, back when they were delivering less than 100 bags of goodies to local schools. As Kelsey Block, Sam explains, now they deliver almost 2,000 bags to kids from pre-kindergarten to grade 3 all across the border city. The anticipation was almost too much for these kids getting an early Christmas surprise. Oh, the boys and girls. Hello, Merry, Merry Christmas. With each child getting a turn to sit on Santa's lap and tell jolly old St. Nick exactly what they want this Christmas. I said I wanted Xbox 360. I said I wanted a gumbo machine, a 3D TV, and an iPhone. Uh, an Xbox 360. Martin Brown is just one of a handful of elementary schools Qantas members will visit over the next three days. Well, we started it, uh, like I say, at the one school. It was for the special needs kids. Then the teacher started telling us in other schools that some of the children did not receive a gift or anything at Christmas. 
So we thought we've got to supply this service and to these children that are getting missed. And of course, we can't let anybody off. Uh, we got to cover everybody. Each bag is filled with a toy, some treats, and of course, a candy cane. This makes our year. I always say this is the most important thing I do every year. This little act of kindness uh, sometimes is just overwhelming, that, uh, especially some of the children that aren't going to get anything else are just uh, so excited about this. And while it takes a whole lot of manpower to haul these gifts to each of the schools, it's seeing these faces that make it all worth it. And how excited are you for Christmas? Really excited. Really excited. I'm the most happiest girl in the world. Kelsey Bloxham, New Cap News.